Starship, humanity's most ambitious rocket, was built to fly, land, and fly again. But there's one massive problem that could burn SpaceX's dreams to ashes, literally. It's called the Thermal Protection System, and without it, Starship doesn't survive re-entry. But just when everyone thought reusability was the only way forward, SpaceX flipped the script with a bold, genius move, ditching reusability for certain missions. And it's left China and Russia absolutely stunned. In this video, we'll uncover why Starship's TPS is in big trouble, how SpaceX turned a problem into a game-changing advantage, and why this strategy could rewrite the space race. In today's TechMap episode, let's buckle up. This isn't just rocket science. It's a masterclass in outsmarting the competition. More than 20 years ago, Elon Musk did something that few people thought of. He totally bet big on reusable rockets when everyone else thought it was a long shot. With SpaceX, he pushed the crazy idea of landing rockets back on Earth to save cash and boost launch rates. Now it's paying off big time. SpaceX is launching about 80% of the world's low Earth orbit payloads, from Starlink satellites to NASA missions, all while keeping costs low, like 60 to $90 million per Falcon 9 launch compared to 150 to $250 million for old school rockets. His vision of reusing rockets like airplanes is why SpaceX dominates the space game today. The dude's basically cashing in on his science fiction dreams. What do you think, genius move or just lucky timing? That success story has also become a major source of inspiration worldwide, especially for up-and-coming space powers. One nation in particular comes to mind, China. In recent years, China has aggressively pursued reusable rocket technology, closely following SpaceX's playbook. Both government agencies and private companies are making significant strides toward matching SpaceX's capabilities. Their goal is crystal clear, compete head-on in the reusable rocket race. A prime example is China's space pioneer, which is gearing up for the maiden launch of its Tianlong-3, a rocket with design, size, and payload capacity, strikingly similar to the Falcon 9. Meanwhile, Russia, once America's chief rival in the Cold War space race, has mostly remained in the concept stage, while China pushes forward at full throttle. By zeroing in on reusability, China is positioning itself as a serious challenger to the current balance of power in space. So should SpaceX be worried? Surprisingly, instead of doubling down on reusables, the company is taking a step back toward an old-school approach. Expendable rockets the kind NASA used to discard after a single use. Why the shift? Even though reusability has been SpaceX's defining game changer for the past 20 years, the company has come to recognize its limitations. When it comes to reusing rockets, one of the biggest hurdles you have to overcome is mastering the thermal protection system. Without it, your rocket would literally roast during re-entry. And according to Elon Musk himself, this is hands down the toughest part of building a reusable rocket. First, you have to find a material that can withstand thousands of degrees, hotter than lava, to protect the rocket so it doesn't melt or break apart. Moreover, it can't just work once and get trashed. It needs to survive tons of launches and re-entries without needing big repairs and taking a long time for maintenance between flights. Imagine if your phone case had to protect your phone from a volcano and be ready to do it again tomorrow. That's the challenge. NASA learned this the hard way with its space shuttle program. Refurbishing the shuttle often took half a year, which Musk argues doesn't count as true reusability. For Starship, SpaceX's massive vehicle designed for deep space missions, the challenge is even tougher. It has to withstand extreme and constantly changing thermal environments over long durations, face reactive atmospheres, and endure brutal re-entry heating. And here's another catch. Anything you add to a spacecraft, even something as thin as a layer of paint, adds weight, 
which eats into payload capacity. When you start talking about thousands of heat-resistant tiles, aerodynamic flaps, and extra fuel for controlled landings, the weight adds up fast. That means the TPS needs to be both ultra-lightweight and incredibly durable. Too heavy and you burn more fuel. Too weak and you burn up on re-entry. Striking that balance is like designing a paper-thin umbrella that can survive a Category 5 hurricane. On top of being tough and lightweight, the thermal protection system also needs to be cheap to fix or replace if SpaceX wants to keep launches affordable. Some argue that these challenges are only really daunting in the beginning. Once SpaceX cracks the code, perfecting a reliable, reusable TPS for Starship, they can standardize the process, and from there, everything else will be much easier. So, that raises the question, why are they still planning an expendable version of Starship for deep space missions? The biggest reason comes down to urgency. Take NASA's Artemis III mission scheduled for mid-2027. SpaceX not only has to get Starship's TPS ready in time, but also meet NASA's strict safety standards. Reusing a Starship after a lunar trip would require designing systems to handle both lunar and Earth re-entries, a much more complex and risk-prone scenario. NASA, being laser-focused on crew safety, prefers a one-time-use Starship for its human landing system. A fresh vehicle means fewer unknowns and fewer risks tied to wear and tear from a previous mission. Meanwhile, SpaceX is also working on another massive challenge for the HLS version, in-orbit refueling. To make it to the moon, Starship will need multiple refueling stops in low Earth orbit, similar to topping up a car several times during a cross-country road trip. This means launching extra tanker starships to dock and transfer fuel. Making the lander reusable would add even more complexity to this already tricky process. So both NASA and SpaceX are keeping things straightforward by going with an expendable design. For an urgent mission like Artemis III, eliminating unnecessary components like heat shield tiles, flaps, grid fins, header tanks, and landing fuel dramatically simplifies things. They can also cut down on RCS thrusters, simplify the plumbing, and reduce avionics and control systems. All these changes speed up construction, lower costs, and keep the focus on getting a safe, functional lunar lander ready on time. Anyway, if you love this deep dive, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers, and we need you to get there. The second big advantage of a single-use Starship is its massive payload capacity. SpaceX says an expendable Starship could haul up to 250 tons into low-Earth orbit. To put that in perspective, Skylab weighed about 76 tons, meaning Starship could send the equivalent of more than three Skylabs into space in one shot. The entire International Space Station tips the scales at around 420 tons. So, in theory, Starship could launch that much mass in just two expendable flights. For Artemis and other deep space missions, the moon is far away, and the conditions are extreme. There's no atmosphere to slow a spacecraft down during re-entry, which means extra fuel is needed for lunar landings and takeoffs. By removing reusable hardware and freeing up that extra space, Starship HLS can carry extra fuel and more vital equipment, like life support systems, docking hardware, and lunar landing legs. While it won't have atmospheric heat shields or aerodynamic control surfaces, the HLS version will still use specialized insulating tiles to protect against micrometeoroids and space debris. These tiles will also help keep out heat from the sun and earth, which is essential for preserving cryogenic liquid oxygen and methane during long-term storage in orbit. Thanks to its huge fuel capacity and powerful engines, Starship can pull off a unique burn-flip-burn -burn maneuver. Instead of waiting for gravity assists, it can accelerate using two major engine burns with a flip in between, shaving down travel time significantly. Normally, Spacecraft bound for distant planets rely on gravity assists, 
swinging past other planets to build up speed. While effective, this method takes years, and the longer a mission lasts, the more opportunities there are for something to go wrong. Starship's fuel reserves and thrust mean it can travel to faraway destinations much faster on its own, reducing both travel time and mission risk. For example, ESA's JUICE mission, launched in 2023, will take a slow path to Jupiter, performing four planetary flybys, including three of Earth, before finally leaving the inner solar system in 2029 and arriving at Jupiter in 2031. Similarly, NASA's Europa Clipper, launched in 2024, will swing past Mars and Earth before reaching Jupiter in late 2026 and arriving in 2030. Even SpaceX's Falcon Heavy has been flown in a fully expendable configuration for certain missions like these. Even if Starship itself is expendable, the Super Heavy booster is still reusable. And that's a massive win. Reusing just the Super Heavy recovers about 85% of the engine hardware, which accounts for most of the mission's cost, while only adding around 20% of the complexity you'd face trying to reuse Starship 2. Plus, orbital refueling would still work with expendable tankers, opening the door for missions that would otherwise be impossible. Sure, this setup costs more than full reusability, but it's a solid stepping stone. If SpaceX focused solely on reusing Super Heavy, it could still put more mass into orbit than any other space company. Even as a single-use spacecraft, Starship would remain the most capable launch vehicle in the world, enabling missions no other rocket could handle. Looking ahead, expendable versions like the Starship HLS are essentially a training run for SpaceX. By starting with a simpler, single-use model, they're gathering a treasure trove of real-world data, how the rocket performs during lunar landings, how it copes with deep space conditions, and more. This knowledge is critical for eventually building a fully reusable Starship, which is a far greater challenge since it must survive multiple round trips to the Moon or Mars without racking up massive costs. It's like learning the basics on a regular skateboard before building a high-performance, tricked-out version for the pros. SpaceX is thinking long-term, using the expendable HLS to master the fundamentals, with its sights set on a fully reusable spacecraft for Mars missions in the 2030s. Smart strategy, right? So, are you ready for that fully reusable future? SpaceX Starship is a big, powerful rocket designed to carry both people and cargo into space. It has two main parts, a giant rocket booster called Super Heavy that helps it launch from Earth, and the Starship spacecraft on top that can carry up to 100 people or lots of cargo to places like the Moon, Mars, or even around Earth. What makes Starship special is that it is fully reusable, meaning it can land back on Earth and be used again, which helps make space travel cheaper and faster. It uses advanced engines powered by methane and oxygen fuel and is built from stainless steel to be strong and heat resistant. Starship aims to help build future space cities and enable exciting missions far beyond Earth. 